Welcome back to Alliance War, it's Season 39, War 9. Four Loki is once again facing Next. We faced them earlier this season, and the Kabam gods have determined that we shall face them again. Now, last time we faced them, they put up a spot boss in BG2. It was my first time facing a spot boss, and I died. Uh, I died because I had on the recoil tree, and my attacks were glancing, so I wasn't getting as much power back. And, well, I fixed that the second time I fought a spot boss. But... These guys doubt me, and so they gave me spot boss again. So this will be my third spot boss, but first up, I'm going to start off on path 8A. Uh, here's Gallon. Gallon is a dimensional being, and therefore Blade will absolutely slaughter him. Um, I said this before in an earlier video, but I took up Blade to rank 4 in the offseason to deal with Gallons. He was such a problem for my battle group last season, and I figured the Blade would be a really good answer to him moving forward, and so that's why I made this rank up. Um, and yeah, uh, Gallon doesn't really have much here. I'm going to knock him down, take away his planetary mass, and he'll never get over 100 to go into Harvest, because on defense, as soon as Gallon goes over 100, he will enter Harvest automatically. Uh, but here, that's not a problem, because I'll just take it away with specials. So, yeah, pretty quick and easy fight. Um, don't really care too much about the Rich Get Richer Furies. I'm just going to bleed that dude to death. All right, so next up, uh, I have a Void fight here on Node 21 that apparently I get to do every war now with Ultron. You know, there's a lot of uh, Deep Clown fans in the community that love watching me fight Void with Ultron and talk about how good I am with Ultron. And this will be of particular interest to them because this was not a particularly good effort, in my opinion. Um, I, I make a mistake and I get hit. So uh, other fights I have not gotten hit, still probably haven't played that well, but uh, this fight I actually do get hit. Fortunately... Ultron has two safety nets. He's got the two regens on his in his kit, um, and so that's going to end up making sure that I get through this fight clean with a solo. So um, launch the special two. Don't get as much damage as I want. Don't get as much power back as I want, um, and I'm ticking down. But you know, even with me making an error, I I'm still going to get through this fight and get the solo. So. Yay for a clown. I'm sure everyone is thrilled by my ongoing success in this game. There's the combo that I eat. Um, you can see the self-repair triggered, so I'm going to gain some of that health back. And it's a, it's a really nice regen on Ultron, so... Uh, get to launch another special two, get some damage over time, and uh, I should be able to finish him off here with a combo, and he's down. All right, so um, I didn't have any fights in section two. I was back up. Uh, my third fight is going to be this Mephisto on node 54. Mephisto is also a dimensional being, so Blade is a great counter here. My strategy is just to uh, parry, to put the bleeds to gain the power. Um, and to get up into a uh, special, so that way I can do some real damage to him. I did not use a uh, Power Star 1 boost in this fight. I used an Invol boost just because I figured, well, if Mephisto is going to be gaining a bunch of power, I'd rather push him to a special 3, tank that, and not have any problems. Turns out I really didn't need any kind of gray boost in this fight with this particular strategy. Um, and so he's going to go down pretty quickly. I'll throw an SB3 here, just get those nice, long, extended bleeds. Um, but yeah, Mephisto's pretty cake. And so after that, I have the spot boss. And let me tell you, this fight... Ooh, spot. I did not want to make this video. Um, yeah. You'll see. All right, so I adjusted my masteries, deep wounds, despair... Um, I've boosted the class boost. I've turned on the PS1, and the strategy here is get some bleeds on him, get some power on him, and then just chain some special twos for some massive damage and allow the power back boost and the bleeds to take care of the work. That's the theory, okay? Um, and so here we have our first special two. Bait a heavy. Get to our second special two. We're 
less than 30 seconds of the fight and he's already at half health. Things are moving quite well. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw a third special too. And now he's close to dying. So punish. And what happens here is that he gets his fifth and uh, spot charge, so to speak, his fifth spot, and he goes up to eight. And I don't notice it. So I'm waiting out this glancing here, and I'm going to go to punish this special, and boom, the untouchable triggers. He combos me, puts on ruptures, becomes unblockable, and now I'm screwed. I panic throw the SB2 like a noob, and I die to the ruptures. So I have to go back in and clean this fight up, which I do, but I'm just massively disappointed by my mistake there. I should not have tried to punish the heavy. I should have just tried for the special two intercept, which would not have triggered the miss, and I would have gotten a solo. So that's um, that's a lesson learned. We did end up beating next. Uh, we had four deaths total as an alliance, including me. One of the four was discharge. Um, so to as a palate cleanser, I don't normally uh, include my fights uh, from the Mommy Short Arms account, but I recently got and ranked up absorbing man and so i thought i'd show you guys a little bit of absorbing man content just because i think he's really cool got some really neat utility so i was assigned this gallon on path 9a this is node 18 and i go into my magma form i have immortal abomination on my team so with that synergy i'm poison immune and between the magma uh, being incinerate immune and the synergy making me poison immune, I'm fully immune to everything on this hazard shift node. And that's important because when I have an immunity take effect, it's going to pause the phase that I'm in. So I don't have to worry about light intercepting. I don't have to worry about charges. I'm just going to let natural fighting fuel the magma form. And as you can see, Gallon gets absolutely rinsed. Um, then in the second section here, I'm on path 3B which is a bleed and shock. So I'm going to switch to my black Uru form. And again, I don't, because I'm going to get bled on this first node against Nimrod and shocked on the second node, um, I don't really have to worry about any light intercepting at all. And I'm able to get in, keep my form, get my form refined and do a lot of damage. I, I speed up this Nimrod fight because look, I'm still figuring out absorbing man. Um, there's a lot of nuances in this character um, one of the things that he's really good at is shortening the length of unstoppables and, and indestructibles. And so ordinarily when you play Nimrod, you're just trying to bait special ones, which is super annoying because of the energized buff. So you're not able, it really slows down the fight. What I've sure just been doing the entire time is pushing this guy to special twos, like right here, because that unstoppable buff is much, much shorter due to, um, absorbing man's kit. So that's what I should have been doing um, the entire fight. I really wasn't. Um, so this fight was probably about, I would say at least, I would say probably twice as long as it should have been if I had experience doing this fight. Um, if I have to take it again, I will definitely play it a little bit differently. But like I said, yeah, staying in the refined black Uru form, pretty easy on that node because of the armors causing bleeds. He's immune to bleed in that form, and so you're constantly paused. So really easy to stay and refined. Next up, we have uh, this little jerk face, the uh, Super Scroll. Um, stay in Black Uru form for the shock immunity, which uh, this node, you know, uh, will do. And uh, yeah, this is another really uh, pretty good fight. You know, I do the 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 heavy. Uh, cancel into the special one helps me refine the form it also pauses it um and i'm just going to do some really really nice damage here against super scroll um this guy really is a lot of fun to play um it's just fun yeah he's 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 a good time in the right matchup uh i did do a fight with him earlier this season against an arcus on 22 that went poorly um, I didn't play the fight right. I think there was a little bit of confusion over the strategy to employ. I, I think if I had to do it again, I would play it differently, and I'd probably um, get the solo, but it's not the greatest matchup because Absorbing Man has a lot in his kit. One thing he doesn't really have in his kit is power control. Um, and so, 
you know, the, all the power gaining from a champ like Arcus can get a little bit out of hand. It's it's not really something that I would necessarily think that he's the best counter in the Mystic class for. But for a lot of the other Cosmics, he is absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, this is, again, a little bit of a longer fight than what we've seen um, with him. But, I mean, you could look at my health bar. He's just a freaking tank. And he is going to take down this Super Scroll in short order. Um, I have one more fight I'll show you all using Absorbing Man. Again, this is just the palate cleanser for that silly death that I took against the boss in Fort Loki. Um, I wasn't originally scheduled to do CGR on node 50, which is the safeguard node. Um, but due to some schedules and stuff, um, I stepped up to take that fight. And, and that fight, unlike uh, the, the other fights that I've shown you, this is not one where necessarily immunities are going to be constantly triggering to refine his form. So um, the question is, is that will that ultimately reflect in the gameplay? And uh, I don't think it does, quite frankly. Um, this guy is an absolute hoss. And as you can see... The burst damage on the heavy is just chewing through safeguard. A nice little evade there by the uh, CGR, man. That AI is pretty interesting. But yeah, I, some really good stuff here from him. Just look at that burst damage, just chewing through the safeguard node. Absorbing Man is a great counter to this placement um, because... Well, any champs that do burst damage, like a Rolk or a Hulk, are going to bypass Safeguard. But Absorbing Man, if we see Cosmics there, becomes another really great option here for this fight. So yeah, just a little bit of a uh, um, way to make me feel better about my silly death. That was the you know only death in my battle group. And I'm sure that the many people who love Clown in this community will enjoy watching me die. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Life Jack.